Hello everyone. Today I will introduce you CGDI BMW how to read ECUSN here this function BMW ISN. Sometimes when we need to do all key lost for cut three plus cut four or FEM, you need the ECUSN. Then how to get it? Here, our BMW ISN function. First, when you get a ECU, you can try to do it on car by OBD first. Here, you can check this function. It is supposed to do it in car by OBD. And here is a support ECU type. Mm. But uh, this uh, type is not uh, completely, such as we got a uh, MSV800, this ECU, but in the support type, no found it. Then you can try to read by OBD on car. If not work, then you do the other functions. Okay. First, let us connect it. This is our this one is our ECU platform. It is supposed the MSV body here, V800 here. We connect it. And here is our OBD. OBD connect it. This is same as the ECU in the car. Connect it. And we need to power to our platform, ECU platform. Okay. Then we click read DME ISN here. You can check. It requires programming the DME. Um, you need to make sure your power, your car power is stable. And click yes. It will program your ECU, then show you the ISN. Just need to wait. Here, the CGDI BMW, the IAD. It is working here. And uh, when it is working, no touch it.
Okay, you can check the DME ISN successfully read. Yes, sir. And when you do it by OBD, it need a long time. Here is the ISN. Then we can use this to add key or do other operations. Here, if sometimes it support not support, um, it tips not support this DME, then you go to these three functions. But uh, these three functions need to activate first. Yeah. These three need to, yes, then you can use it. Okay, our steer MS V800. Choose it, confirm, and it has a diagram here. This diagram, it need a adapter here. This adapter, you can make by yourself, ask our Take suppose, ask the diagram how to make it, or you can buy it from our website. Connect, disconnect our OBD and ECU. We open the diagram, follow the picture. It is easy to operate. Just some cables connect it. Then connect our CGDI and power. Here we need to power to CGDI device. Then click identify. It will show you the VN information in the ECU and click read as in in this function it is faster than in the car but it need to pour out the ECU sometimes if it now support do it on car. You can pull it out. Okay. That's all. Thanks for your watching.